for one last time, Avengers Assemble. Are you Hello my fellow out today scenes, Kenzie Redshaw here. This is it. My review of Avengers Endgame. And Quantum Realm tracksuit. Yep. I went through the hassle getting one of these bad boys on top of getting one for a, a good friend. Was it worth the money? Oh yes. I've had this on for the last two days. But enough talk about me, let's talk about the film. And rest assured, I will keep this spoiler free. You have my word on that, guys. Now, whether I decide to do a spoiler-filled review later down the road, remains to be seen. But well, we shall wait and see what happens. But nevertheless, on to the review. Now, do I keep this long or do I keep it short? I'll try and keep it as short as possible. Now, story 11 years, and now 21 films. This is number 22 in the MCU. The end of the Infinity Saga. The end of Phase 3. And the end for some of our favourite heroes. I won't say who, because that's going into spoiler territory. Yeah, pay attention to the hashtag at the top, folks. Pay attention to the hashtag at the top. Very important. Now, the story, for a three hour film, it did exactly what it needed to do. It set, it carried on from where Infinity War left off. And it gave us the climax and the ending that we absolutely deserved. Now, it's such a great story where everyone that's left from Infinity War has to work out how they're gonna reverse what happened at the end of Infinity War And, and and by the way, this is not spoilers for the um, this is not spoilers for the main film itself. I'm just giving you context, right? The the, the reverse they're trying to reverse what happened at the end of Infinity War. But yeah, it's um, just incredible how they've managed to put this together. The fact that they filmed Infinity War and Endgame essentially back to back, few reshoots here and there. And let's put it this way, pretty much all the shots that we saw in the trailers were here in the film. And overall, I would definitely say it is a very fitting end to what's been a very exciting 11 years. We started from essentially nothing with the first Iron Man film back in 2008. 
Here we are, 20, 22 films, 11 years later. Here we are. Characters next, and oh boy, oh boy, the characters. We see from the trailers that Hawkeye is back. And you see how difficult this you see how difficult this is to not go into spoiler territory. I may actually do a spoiler review of this film. But I'm not the sort of person that does spoilers. Anyway. I will note some of the changes to some of the characters. Thor has got um, beer belly fat. There's no other way of putting it. Um, what else? Um, Captain Marvel from, well, from the same name. Her hair's shorter, and to me, I pref I prefer her with long hair. But that's just me. That's just me. I prefer girls with long hair. Doesn't mean doesn't mean I doesn't mean I'll say no to uh, a girl with short hair. Just what I'd prefer. Anyway, um. And then of course you've got uh, then of course you've got you've got Nebula, you've got Rocket, the original Avengers, Iron Man, Cap, Thor, Black Widow. Uh, you've got uh, Rhodes, uh, Ro Rodeo, uh, uh, Don Cheadle's um, character. Um, we got Bruce Banner, and oh my word, his appearance has changed quite. Um, it's changed quite interestingly, to say the least. Then from there, you've of course got Thanos. And he's just as evil as ever. There's there's no two ways about it. Then I mean I mean the I mean, I say it's a it's a ridiculous thing to criticize, but like I said, I prefer Captain Marvel with the long hair. But again, that's just me. Visuals now. Oh boy. Visuals for this film, pretty much on point. And not to mention, let's just put it this way, guys. The final act is for me the greatest battle scene the, the, the greatest battle scene in any superhero movie I've watched I'd say in any film I've watched and we've got an epic battle in Game of Thrones uh, this coming weekend Sunday in the US but Monday over here in the UK oh my goodness me. We've got that battle in Game of Thrones coming up next in the next episode. I mean, TV-wise, that will no doubt top the battle between Jon Snow and Ramsay Bolton. But let's not talk about Game of Thrones, let's talk about Avengers Endgame. This is the greatest battle scene in... This is the greatest superhero battle in any superhero film 
I have seen. The only one I think that comes close to it, apart from Infinity War, is Civil War. The battle at the airport between Team Captain America and Team Iron Man. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. I was on the edge of my seat throughout that entire battle. Again, like I say, visually the film is on point. And the soundtrack now. The soundtrack. Oh boy. There were definitely a there were definitely some good callbacks to um there were definitely some good callbacks to previous films, including the first Guardians of the Galaxy film. I was I I was sitting in I was sitting in I was sitting in the cinema I was sitting there dancing along to hey 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 what's the matter with you hey 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 and come and get your love I mean I was dancing all I was dancing in my seat along to that song I and big smile on my face as well but in all seriousness this film did get me. It hit all the right emotions in all the right places at the right times. And just, wow. It's, I mean, you had Alan Silvestri back doing the score, just like he did in Infinity War. And what can I say? It. Incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Fair enough, they used previous... I mean, again, like they, they had some callbacks to scenes from previous films with, like, the, the score that was used in those scenes in previous films and the songs that I'm... songs as well. But, oh my word, the beginning of that battle at the end. <sighs> wow. And overall, again, very well written. Why are these Marvel films so well written? Why is that? I don't know. But overall, but yeah, overall, oh man, how do I rate this? 10 for story, 9 for characters, 10 for visuals, 9 for soundtrack because of some of the recycled stuff. But it was justified, but I felt that I felt with some of the scenes they could have used something else, like compose something new rather than having the score or songs from previous films. I mean, mainly the score. Mainly the score I'm criticising here. I mean, it's only minor criticisms with the score. But apart from that, an overall score of 95%. And it is, for me, my top film of the year so far. Now, before I close out today, I want to go into a couple of things with regards to what happened. The friend that I got the tracksuit, the game, uh, the, the friend that I got this tracksuit for, they got the tickets uh, for a double bill. We saw Infinity War beforehand, and we were sitting there, just waiting. Three weeks later. And waiting. Many months later. And waiting. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Thank you, SpongeBob. Just sitting there, waiting for Endgame to start. The technical issues put a halt to those plans. 
and the screen I was in were not happy in the slightest. Yeah, to the point where one guy said, you wouldn't be, I say, their words, their exact words, I say, you wouldn't be doing this if it was Gone with the Wind, it's like, this is a cultural phenomenon, stop overreact, you compare Gone with the Wind, which is a classic drama, to a film that is based on comics, they are two, com they are two polar opposites of each other. But, oh boy. And that's just, the, that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Because another guy was so angry, decided to throw a childish temper tantrum and threw his drink onto one of the seats in the cinema. And you just got to think, was that really necessary? Yes, I get it. You're angry. You're not going to get to see it at midnight. But there's no need to overreact like that. But I give credit to the Cineworld staff for trying their best to get this film. You've got to give them credit to give... You've got to give them credit for... Got to give credit to the staff at Cineworld in Edinburgh for trying their best to get the film started for us fans. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do that, but what they were able to do is they gave us complimentary... They, they gave us refunds on the tickets and they gave us vouchers for seeing the film at a later date. Now... I could have just as easily used my voucher at the Cineworld in Glasgow, which is the nearest one to me. But I decided, let's actually go and see, let's actually go and see it in Edinburgh. Twelve hours, a twelve-hour wait. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely worth the wait. It is just one of the most perfect superhero films I've ever seen. So, yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed what you saw, guys. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptised into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Now I'm going to be doing something a little different with them. How uh, with their how I'm going to put in the end cards um, on the so on the top on the top you've got my previous video which is Rocket League, and you've got my reviews playlist. On the bottom and next to them are an end card where you can go to my channel itself to subscribe to it and I'm also going to be linking my patreon as well where you can get where you can get exclusive content and early access to my podcast now because I'm recording this on the Thursday afternoon I'll have this up tonight it means, uh, and because I'm busy this weekend, there's not going to be much on my channel this weekend. Which means there's going to be no podcast this week, but podcast will be back for the bank holiday weekend next week. And then it'll be back to business as usual. Uh, uh, next week, Rocket League wise, I'll have the first round of the Rocket League NBA playoffs. And then on the Thursday, it will be the climax to the Rocket League Champions League and Rocket League Europa League. And we'll take it from there. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always. 
I'm off back to the quantum realm. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.